Well, here we are, uh, late October, early November, and November 2008 is the year that I first started on YouTube. So this is my sixth year anniversary here on YouTube, and uh, definitely come a long way over the years. And uh, originally I started uploading videos of logging. Uh, I was very much into that and fishing. Um, and uh, so that's what I was into. And then the Lord started working in my life and I started to do preaching and, and videos defending our King James Bible. You've seen this thing for many years now, this exact Bible with the KJV sticker on it. And uh, this is what this ministry is about. And uh, I'm very thankful for what the Lord has done over the years. Uh, we're uh, just about 600 videos now, so that's roughly, what is that, uh, what, 100 videos per year or so, you know, which would be about roughly two a week or so. And of course, I've deleted a lot of videos as well over the years because I make announcements or whatever, and I've deleted some of my older videos. But um, So we're actually over 600 videos. But over the years, I have had the distinct privilege of attracting some of the weirdest people on earth to the comment section. And for a long time, I had my comments set to approval only, and it just got to be too big of a deal to go in and try to approve comments and, and things. And a lot of you, um, your comments are so good, and, and I just don't want to have to be forced into approval only so that you know your comments can't be seen, because I learn things from your comments. A lot of you have really good conversations going back and forth. I see a lot of you witnessing to other people in the comments, so I don't want to, I don't want to stifle that. You know, I want to make sure that you have your say in the matter. But um, like I said, I had a brother the one time write me, and he said, Brian, he said you have a talent for drawing in weird people. <laughs> and uh, so today I want to read you my favorite weird comments in the last six years that I've gotten. Okay. First one we have here is Edward Hara. He says, reason number 11, this is a straw man argument. You don't understand covenant or how covenant works. Jesus is only in us for 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> and of course, there's a lot more to it there. He's talking about the 13 reasons why every Christian must reject the, the uh, mass, but well, and reject the Vatican too. But uh, Jesus is only in you for 15, 20 minutes. I wonder what happens after 15 to 20 minutes. Hmm. Next we have here uh, Brent Darlin writes, do me a favor and do more of these stupid wacko videos. I will. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother to comment on your uneducated videos. They are all troll conspiracy nut jobbery theories. Why would I bother to educate your ignorance? Be gone, lying, maleducated demon. <laughs> uh, last time I checked, uh, demons, which is King James Bible word, there's devil. Um, they're spirit beings. They don't really need education, but I'm a maleducated demon. So, got me there. But, you know, I will, of course, do more of these stupid uh, whack job videos because that's what I do. Uh, next we have... MMM or MM Mail 1969. God bless the one true Holy Roman Catholic Church, suffering in purgatory, militant on earth, victorious in heaven. Remember, folks, the Bible is our book, not theirs. Okay. Um, well, if the Bible is your book, there, MM Mail 1969, why doesn't the Bible say Roman Catholic? Why doesn't the Bible say purgatory, you know? And how can you be suffering in purgatory and yet victorious in heaven? You know, I'm victorious in heaven because of what Jesus Christ did for me. That's what I'll be when I get there. You know, I'm in seated in heavenly places right now with Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, excuse me. But uh, another weirdo. Here's another good one. How about this one? Joey Ramos. He says, how sad legalism at its finest. God, I pray that your people see the truth of who you are, that they don't just read a book, but actually get to know you. <laughs> okay, so uh, the way you get to know God is not by reading the Bible. 
don't get to read the book. Don't get to know you through the book there, Lord. You know, just give us some other way. Okay. Continuing. Claudia Gold Gurton. She says here, did I hear you correctly? Don't listen to a woman preaching. Really? Really? I got to time marker 3947 and this is what you actually said. I cannot believe that in this day and age you are perpetuating the hatred of women. <laughs> huh? The hatred of women because I say female preachers are wrong? You actually had my attention until you spewed this hatred of half the population. Jesus never preached this attitude and you shouldn't either. Shame on you. It's on your soul if someone is soured on Christianity because of it. Never mind what the Bible says, you know. <laughs> you know, these people, I'll tell you. Here's another one. Geofi Poo <laughs> had a video come out. I just love this one. I'll put the picture up here. It says, Con Man, take a look-see at his King James Ministries is moving upload. He says that he has a film studio. Do you see the props green sheet in the background? How about plants? The backdrop in his Logic versus Emotion upload looks 2D fake. The prop plants in front are moving and nature sound effects are being used. Well, guess what? I'm still in that same fake artificial studio, although this time my graphics team has made it, instead of looking at making it look like Pennsylvania, now we've made it look like Northeastern Maine. See? Now watch this. See, I'm going to go back here. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? That's all animation. This isn't a real tree that I'm grabbing and pulling like that. You know, watch this. Look. See? Animation. Isn't that the miracles of technology there? Isn't this amazing? Now watch. More animation. And again. <laughs> this is my film studio, people. <laughs> How about um, Stuart Slater? It says here, more missed teachings without proof. Show me verses that refers to pre-trib rapture. Matthew 24 says the rapture occurs when Jesus returns at the end of, the tribu of tribulation and before the wrath of God. And Jesus says many times he is God's son, so he is not God. Okay. <laughs> um, so you can't show me any verses that prove a pre-trib rapture, but I can show you the rapture is in Matthew 24. I didn't think rapture was in the Bible. Uh, okay. That's one another one of these tactics of these post-tribbers. They, they will con continuously say that we can't prove a pre-trib rapture because the word rapture is not in the Bible. And you say, can you prove a post-trib rapture? They'll say yes. Next one. Can something be 50% true? No. Ask a pre-tribber for a scripture verse or passage to show their proof. I have never had one yet. <laughs> okay. I just have, you know, I don't even know how many. Uh, so many sermons out on the pre-trib rapture proving the pre-trib rapture from the King James Bible. And I haven't seen one, you know. I don't see a thing. I don't see any verses that prove a pre-trib rapture. There aren't any. Sure. Jane Fitzgerald, this man is a scumbag, folks, and anyone who listens to his lies is a scumbag, too. <laughs> Sharing the love. <laughs> so, I'm a scumbag, and you're scumbags, too, for watching me. You know, and I love how these people will charge me with hate. Next, we have Werner TRP Tube says a man of the city will never understand a man of the jungle that's so true <laughs> although i have been in the jungle before in costa rica but i don't prefer the jungle it's too hot so i think you ought to update your saying there werner chirp to to uh, a man of the city will never understand a man of the forest because then i'd be uh, okay with you <laughs> next we have incarnated white dragon nature worker Okay, it says here, and this is on the Vissarian sermon that I did. It says, it breaks my heart to see people make fun of Vissarian. He's really a sweet, 
kind, generous, loving, giving, respectful, amazing, helpful, nice, smart, joyful, young man. 12 things. Probably shouldn't be jumping to assumptions when I don't even know him, however. But you haters need to stop. <laughs> so he's all 12 of these things, although she's never actually met him and probably shouldn't jump to conclusions. But I know he's a good man and he's better than me. <laughs> yeah. Next we have DT. Says, well, I must say he does look almost exactly like the picture of Jesus that was hanging on the wall of my Sunday school class back in the day. So he must be the dude. Okay, again, speaking about the Vissarian uh, sermon, audio sermon thing. You know, he, he, I, he looks like the dude, so he must be him. Next we have Dennis Foreman. I have a friend who believed in once saved, always saved. He died, went to hell, came back. He don't believe in that no more. We must all live in a state of repentance and live holy. Well, that convinces me, you know, not in about scripture, you know, no, no, the Bible doesn't teach eternal security. Oh no, you know, it's, it's experience. Yeah. Continuing, Joe Maples. When are you going to debunk yourself? You should look into yourself. Well, uh, perhaps if I'm committed to the funny farm where you perhaps live yourself, then maybe I'll start looking at myself and examining myself and talking with myself. Crazy Loco 23 writes, 54 minutes in, he says to not feed your enemies. He obviously hates scripture. I quoted the verse where it talks about not bidding people into your home. You know, to bringing people into your home and things like that. And if, if somebody's a, a atheist or something, you know, I'm not going to bring them into my home and take care of them and things. But I hate scripture. You know, just uh, six years in my life, you know, dedicated to preaching and teaching of the word of God. So I, I sure do hate this book. Boy, oh boy. But now, now we have arrived at my favorite two comments. These are the best Hands down, nobody can beat these comments. Number two, and I'll read the number one after it. The second, my second favorite comment from YouTube over the over the years, Renee Woods. Ready? Please re-remove your channel from your channel of my YouTube channel permanently. Well, I'll tell you what. I will get around to doing that as soon as I understand what you're saying. <laughs> and finally, my favorite comment, the best weird comment I've gotten in six years of being on YouTube. No comment has ever topped this one for weirdness. Here we go. Hang on to your seat. 55 Wasco writes, you are teaching heretic. I speak in thongs every day, and I know it's from the Lord. Yes, I know there are false and even demonic thongs. And so what? I know what happens to me when I speak in thongs. <laughs> and nor you or any demons from hell or the devil himself can take that from me. You can go on with your heretic, but are you, you are fighting a lost battle because you are fighting the almighty living God. <laughs> well, friend, let me just give you a little bit of advice. Um, if you're going to go and, and speak in thongs, I, I would recommend you don't do it in public. <laughs> because, you know, there's a, such a thing as indecent exposure. And most places have laws like that, you know. <laughs> so uh, I draw on the winners, don't I? So thank you to everybody out there, all the subscribers. I just want to thank all of you. Uh, there's especially those of you that have been with me for a long time many years i appreciate you i love you all in the lord and uh really look forward to the reunion the blessed reunion we're going to have in heaven and uh you know another reason i wanted to do this video real quick is just simply because for those of you who are are new in the lord and and you start getting attacked and you get made fun of and called names it's just part of being a bible believing christian it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, there are times that the, the comments, oh, they'll get hurtful. Yeah, sure. But you know what? 
a lot of times it's just the Lord will give you a good laugh at uh, some of the the attacks of the enemy. <laughs> so, and I've certainly got a few out of this one. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you for your prayers. Keep praying for the ministry and uh, we will see you in the next video.